YouTube and this is Robert with Super Galactic Geek Review and we've got a movie review today. Now this is not a movie in the theater this is actually a movie on DVD and Blu-ray actually. Um, we are going to review Rise of the Zombies. Now this came in our horror block so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you keyword right here for all of you that got the horror block and haven't watched this yet spoiler alert big time right here okay now I'm gonna tell you when I opened the horror block and I saw that it had a Danny Trejo movie in it I was really really excited I'm a huge huge Danny Trejo fan I, I everything he does I think I watch all of it um, however I was really upset at this movie. It wasn't far into the movie. It wasn't far into the movie at all. And uh, they kill off Danny Trejo. Come on, this is Danny Trejo. He's not going to let some little girl zombie bite him and take him down. He's going to slap her around like there's no tomorrow. All right, director. You messed that one up because Danny would have just snapped that little girl zombie in half. Heck, I could have had one of my dogs take that little girl zombie out. Anyways, that was horrible right there. Now, I don't know if you, any of you are Star Trek fans, the next generation. Um, LeVar Burton was in this also. And his character was a scientist in this. Now... What I didn't like was they made his character extremely smart, but extremely dumb at the same time, okay? He stuck his hand in a cage with a zombie. He cut part of his own arm off to feed a zombie that used to be his daughter. Okay. And to think that these people, a group of people that were there with him, left him there by himself, knowing that he was going to be looking after the zombie that was his daughter at one time. They're all idiots. Somebody should have stayed with this man, first off. He shouldn't have been left there on Alcatraz by himself. That was a horrible plot in the story right there. Big, big hole. Big, horrible mess. Um, so, he ends up killed off. Danny Trejo's killed off. I'm like... Who do we got left? Okay, Meryl Hemingway? Come on. All right, maybe she did some good movies back in the day, but not in this one, okay? She just didn't pull the part off right. I think they could have found a better actress to play that part. She, don't get me wrong, she's a good actress, but this is not the part for her. This was just not for her. They could have cast somebody else that was a little bit better for that role. I don't know who, but I'm sure they could have found someone. So, I was super excited when I saw this because I'm thinking Danny Trejo is going to come in and he's going to kick some zombie ass. That's the way it's going to work. I was highly, highly disappointed that he was taken out by a little girly zombie and turned. And then, as a zombie, he goes after this little skinny guy. And this skinny guy takes him out with a swing of an axe. He's done. Come on. Really? This is Danny Trejo, people. He could have done so much better. He could have snapped that zombie into, had him till the end, killing off some of these zombies. That would have been the cool way to do this movie. But they didn't do that. So, knowing that they killed off the two best actors they had in the movie... And the movie ended with him flying off in a helicopter. And I was like, okay, they all got vaccines because they found a scientist that made a vaccine. And they fly off in a helicopter. That's where you're ending this? You're not going to show if they're going to 
transmit the vaccine out? Or are they what are they going to do from there? Where are they going? There's nothing there to tell me anything else. It's just like, okay, we're leaving on a helicopter. See ya. Ending the movie like that, I didn't like it. So, on a geek review level, I'm only going to give this one five geek glasses. And it gets five because, let me explain to you why. It's got Danny Trejo, LeVar Burton. That's the reason that I gave it a five. Those two are in here. If they weren't in here and you had two other actors in here, this thing would have got a three. So, that's my review of Rise of the Zombies. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, YouTube, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and be proud to be a geek.